Greetings and salutations, and welcome to Christmas Storytime. Mr. Claus and I were very sad not to visit with you at Sycamore Public Library's annual winter celebration this year, so I thought I would join you and share some of my favorite Christmas stories, and when we're done, you can add them to your winter reading challenge. Let's start off today with a song. Get your twinkling snowflakes out. Snowflake, snowflake in the sky. Love to watch you floating by. Falling slowly to the ground. Falling down without a sound. Snowflake, snowflake in the sky. Love to watch you floating by. Our first story today is Jingle Jingle by Nicola Smee. Who wants a ride in my sleigh? asks Mr. Horse. We do please, Mr. Horse, say cat and dog and pig and duck. Here's Mr. Horse and cat and dog and pig and duck. Hold on tight, says Mr. Horse, and off they go. Jingle, 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 jingle. Let's go over the field, say cat and dog and pig and duck. Very well, says Mr. Horse, but hold on tight. And off they go, jingle, jingle, crunch, crunch. Jingle, jingle, crunch, crunch. Can we slide down the hill, please, Mr. Horse? Ask cat and dog and pig and duck. Very well, says Mr. Horse. Is there room for me? Of course, Mr. Horse, but make sure you hold on tight, said cat and dog and pig and duck. And off they go. Jingle, jingle, swish, swish, faster and faster goes the sleigh. Jingle, jingle, swish, swoosh. Faster, faster goes the sleigh. Look out, look out. Jingle, plop, jingle, plop, jingle, plop, plop, plop. Cat and dog and pig and duck. Land in the cold and crunchy snow and so does Mr. Horse. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dearie me, cried cat and dog and pig and duck. That was so cool, says happy Mr. Horse. Come on then, Mr. Horse, say cat and dog and pig and duck, and off they all go again. Jingle, jingle, swish, swish, wee. The end. Here is the chimney, and here is the top. Open the lid. Out, Santa!
to Will Pop. Here is the chimney. Here is the top. Open the lid. Out Santa will pop. For our next story today, I am reading Bear Stays Up. It's by Karma Wilson and illustrated by Jane Chapman. The day before Christmas snuggled on his floor Bear sleeps soundly with a great big snore. Dear Bear, get up, Mouse shouts in his ear. We won't let you sleep through Christmas this year. His friends are all gathered in his lair and Bear wakes up. He stands with a stretch and a great big sigh. I hope I can make it. I do want to try. Don't worry, squeaks Mouse. Hare says, it's all right. We'll keep you busy all day and all night. He tries to lie down, but his friends all frown. So the bear stays Come on, says Badger, time to follow me. In Pine Grove Glen, there's a fine Christmas tree. So they stomp through the woods and they tromp down the track. They hoist up to tree onto Big Bear's back. He plods very slow as they trudge through the snow, but Bear stays up. Back at the cave, go for brews, mint tea, and mole pops corn to string upon the tree. Raven and Wren bake a fresh fruit cake, and the friends do their best to keep Bear awake. His shoulders start to stoop and his eyelids droop, but Bear stays up. They hang up their stockings by warm firelight and hum Christmas songs like Oh Holy Night. They cuddle and sing as they wait for the sun. But soon all the voices fade to just one. A bright star glows while his good friends doze. But Bear stays up. Bear giggles and grins, he works and he raps. He bustles and bakes while everyone naps. He piles up presents under the tree, but who's at the doorway? Bear doesn't see. He toils all night until the sun rises, making his friends their Christmas surprises. But just before dawn, he lets out a <gasps> yawn but he still stays up. When Christmas arrives so lovely and white, Bear's friends awake to a glorious sight. Presents and goodies are piled out tall. I stayed up, says Bear, just to share with you all. As his friends shout with glee, Bear lies by the tree, but he still stays up. Wren flies to the stockings and tweets out a cheer, 
Besides our bear's presence, Santa was here. When all gifts are open, there's one last surprise. Badger shows Bear a quilt just his size. Bear snuggles up tight and mutters, Oh, good night. Then Bear falls asleep. His friends tidy up and slip from the lair. They whisper, sweet dreams, Merry Christmas, dear bear. The end. Snowflakes are falling, candles aglow. The wreaths on the door. It's Christmas, you know. The snowflakes are falling. The candles aglow. The wreaths on the door. Because it's Christmas, you know. For my last story today, I'm going to read my very favorite, was the night before Christmas. These illustrations are by Jan Brett, and the poem was originally written by Clement Moore. Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there rose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering I should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer with a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. More rapid than eagles, his coursers, they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donder, and Blitzen, and Rudolph. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all, as dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the coursers they flew with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each tiny hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back and he looked like a peddler just opening his 
pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was white as the snow. He's so handsome, my Mr. Claus. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth and the smoke, it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. Ho, ho, ho. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings and then turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney, he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team, gave a whistle. And away they all flew, like the down on a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight. Merry Christmas to all and to all. A good night. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you all for joining me. And remember, be good for goodness sake. Bye-bye.